You feel me? We're back with another video. This is an Avery Joanna reaction. This is Graham's ex-girlfriend. You feel me? So, you know, I did a few reactions on that situation yesterday. You know what I'm saying? She posted yesterday, but we need reacting to it today. You feel me? So, um, the video is a little long. I don't know if we're going to watch the whole video. we we'll probably skip through it to, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's a everything is about the situation or not because you know clickbait her, her title say time for the truth so it could be clickbait you feel me so um before i press play on this video subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel you heard you feel me and um smash that like button all right let's get right into it so i'm finally about see to obviously i already skipped some of it y'all with me and on top of that my outfits are fire y'all like when i say fire i mean Fire. Um, I have about three great looks. Um, two of them I made myself. And for y'all who don't know and don't follow me on Instagram, I've been making clothes, y'all. I've been on the sewing machine heavy. I've been doing my thing. I put pictures right here so that y'all can see. Okay, what is that like? A, 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 a spring? That's spring dress. What the fuck is that? So yeah, those are some of the pictures. I don't know about those yeah, boots, yeah, shorty, but been working like the I've dress been doing valid. I have had a little setback um when it comes to like fashion, like designing and getting on the sewing machine. For one, Man, I'm what do I know? I don't machine, wear girl clothes, really cool. I'm not gonna right. say it, bro. Let's just say the needle. I don't know what's going on with it, y'all, but it's just not working, and it just took away my inspiration of even getting. Back I ain't gonna lie, we which, here for the drama. You know, I ain't gonna hold you, stuff, baby. So. Anybody needs anything like sometimes you can get in a freaking relationship and you can forget about yourself. All right, there we go. So let's go back. You can get in a freaking relationship and you can forget about yourself, and that's what I did. I forgot all about Avery, I forgot who Avery was, and okay. I had to get back to me, and I love that for me. I'm not gonna go too deep into the topic of my what? old relationship because. That's the past, and I no longer live there anymore. I live here. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I'm here for the video. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure my viewers want to see that, too. The story behind that, too. But, um, we're not going to explain it all. We're not about to sit here for another... What is this? We have four minutes for another ten minutes, Avery. You feel me? Y'all feel me? Where I'm at now. So, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I'll answer, I'll tell y'all a little bit about it just because I know, I mean, I can give y'all that because y'all have been on that yeah, journey. Yeah, give us a little bit. That amount of time. And I haven't I been on your journey, person, but you could give so us a little bit. So, I can bit. definitely give y'all that. Um, no, we're not together. No, we don't communicate no more. Things didn't work out because we have two separate journeys that God wants us to go on and God didn't want us to go on those journeys together and I'm okay with that and... Yeah, it's, it is what it is. We just didn't work out. Things weren't working. Life was not lifing. Why? Why did things didn't work out? Yo, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say something real quick. You feel me? Why? All right. When you're in a relationship, right, with somebody for a long time, I don't think the smart thing to do is to just get out that relationship and then be in a ready, another relationship. You feel me? Yeah, you could go out and talk to people and, you know, mingle and, you know, date. I, I, I. But just to lock in when you literally was just locked in is just crazy to me, bro. Like, I don't understand. Like, people really just go from one relationship to one relationship to one relationship to another to another to another to another. Like, let yourself fucking breathe, bro. Give yourself three months. You feel me? Six months. To a year. I feel like if you've been in a relationship for a, few, a long few years, even, I'm going to say two years. You feel me? If you've been in a relationship for, with someone for two years, I feel like you should at least give yourself a year to be single after. Before you just jump to another year. I mean, my fault. Jump to another relationship. Give yourself a year to breathe and heal. Like... If a year is too, oh my God, a year, me being alone for a year, if that's too crazy for y'all, six months, bro, you feel me? Like, come on. 
It's crazy. With us being together, and we just had two different perspectives on life, on life, and we had two different perspectives on relationships. So that's just what happened with us. And again, why do people feel like when they're in a relationship with somebody, you know what I'm saying, they have to have the same exact perspective with everything? Like, bro, you're two different human beings. You're not going to agree on everything. You're not going to look at something, a certain view, as you know what I mean, as the other person all the time. Like, it's just not going to happen. People feel like, People feel like when you when you when you don't like when you don't agree with somebody or like look at something in a different perspective, they feel like you don't understand them. It's not that I don't understand you. You know what I'm saying? Or they don't understand you. It's just they just don't agree and they see it in a different light. What the fuck is wrong with that? Why do people have a problem with that so bad, bro? Like, I just don't agree with you. I I think it's a I think my, my opinion is different. That's it. So just because I look at this cer cer a certain situation or a person looks at a certain situation, I'm not going to put me in it because, you know, I'm not going through none of that. But if somebody's in a situation and you feel me, they don't agree with you, bro, just let them be. Let them not agree. That doesn't mean y'all not, not meant to be. That doesn't mean that that person shouldn't be a person because... That person looks at a certain situation different and a different perspective. Like, you don't have to leave the relationship every time your significant other sees something in a different light, bro. Y'all two humans. Like, I don't get that shit. And I wish her... But, I'm not I'm chatting. But at the same time, don't stay nowhere where you're not happy either, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So... Yes, of course. And she wishes me the best. That's even better. Cool. So, yeah, um, it's been a lot of, like, chaos and stuff. So I, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I got, I'm gonna say one more thing, though. One more thing, though. You feel me? Like, okay. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> Stay off of there because y'all be I never forgot what I was about to say. Y'all know. It's gonna come back. From the very beginning of me even getting on YouTube how I felt about Oh, here it go. If you feel like you gotta leave a relationship because they think in a different perspective sometimes, you know what I'm saying, then that means you just, that person just wasn't for you, like, the whole time. Like, you wasting your time. Because if that person is for you, and you know that person is for you, their uh, their opinion, like, it doesn't match yours, shouldn't interfere with that, with that love. You know what I mean? Comment down below if y'all understand what the hell I'm saying. Come on, man. Like that bullying, like videos that I sat down with y'all and talked to y'all about, and I told y'all how I felt about that. So y'all should have known your girl was gonna disappear. Like, I was. And I ain't gonna lie, this video is mad boring. Boring. That's probably why I'm chatting so much, bro. Like, I wasn't even about to get on there. I didn't have no reason to defend myself. I didn't have no reason to do this, to do that. It's just, I just didn't have the energy for it. Um, and I just feel like if I'm growing and trying to be a better person, like, feeding into negativity just wasn't going to serve me any justice at all. It would have did nothing but made yeah. me mad. I would have I would have stopped my growing process of being who I want to be if I was to entertain certain things. So I just didn't do that. I stayed away. And it wasn't because of y'all, because y'all always support me. Y'all love your girl Avery, so I do appreciate that. But for the most part, I just had to stay away because I just needed some space. And the crazy thing about it is, like, I didn't even watch no YouTube videos at all during this whole little thing, chaos that was going on. I didn't watch nothing. You didn't watch nothing. You didn't watch nothing. You People were sending me stuff or people comment on my live videos and say, oh, girl, did you see this? Did you see that? And in my head, I'm like, no, I did not see it. I don't want to see it. I had friends calling me like, Avery, did you see that? Like, did you see what they said? Did you see what this person said? It's just like, girl, you clearly, it. I can't even go live without y'all screen recording a girl. And I got video up. Like, I, I can't even live my life no more. So it's just like, okay, whatever. 
But other than that, so I did decide to come back to YouTube. Um, just coming back in a different headspace, in a different mindset, and of course by myself now. So that's even better. So y'all get to get the oh shots fired. All right, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Put a little, a little, uh, you know, a little spiciness in the video. Well, Avery, Joanna, y'all got Avery, Joanna, and somebody else before, or just Avery and I don't know. But for some reason, y'all, no lie, I feel like my light has been shining brighter on me since I've been alone. Like I've been getting a lot more okay. love, like okay. since it's just been me. I guess because people get to just see me for me and not me for what they thought I was or how a situation played out. And I love that because now I'm in my own I'm happy for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I was I know I was saying this video's boring and all that. Da, da, da. I'm just joking, Avery, all right? Don't get mad, you feel me? Like but um nah, I, I'm I'm definitely happy for her. I feel like I'm always I feel like anybody that heals from any traumatic experience is this a good thing? You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. I have nobody else in my bubble or nobody else that I gotta like depend on or they gotta depend on me. So it just feels good to actually be back, talk it to y'all, and I'm gonna give y'all nothing but like fun vlogs. I'm just okay. gonna do a lot of fun stuff and let y'all really get to know the real Avery. And not just the relationship. So, also, I know y'all been asking about Poppy as well. Um, so for those who don't know, um, about all right, there we go. She about to talk about something else. Um, so yeah, yeah, guys, that was Avery, Graham's ex girlfriend. Um, she didn't say really much. She really didn't say anything at all. You know what I'm saying about the situation, but you know. Basically, this video is just an update for her viewers that really, you know, is in tune with her. So, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations on your healing and, you know, and your growth. Um, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this video. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Let's get it.